you know, and, and in modern times, I think our culture has created a, a, an identity of separation that uh, makes us have a view of what you can simply call a solo self, an isolated mm -hmm. self. So part of, I think, interpersonal neurobiology's potential is to say, what is the self? What is identity? What is belonging? And how do we take these features of what it means to be a human and say, how has modern culture given us a message that we're all separate that may be at the heart of, you know, certainly worsening these pandemics, the way we don't collaborate with each other, uh, but certainly at the basis of social injustice and racism and even environmental destruction where people see themselves as separate. So in the next 10 years, I think it's become pretty clear to everybody who thinks about this um, that we have about 10 years to identify what humanity is doing wrong. And if we can use our skills as mental health professionals to help nudge cultural evolution in a more generative rather than degenerative way, right. yeah. a more integrative way rather than the chaos or rigidity that emerges when you block integration. So, you know, you know, books can state something and they're not be all and end all. But in our series of books, what we try to do is provide some kinds of inroads. And um, in this chapter that I wrote for this book, and certainly in this, this next book called Intra Connected that I'm trying to get out into the world, um, you know, there, I think how culture in modern times defines itself as separate aligns with what indigenous teachings have taught for thousands of years, what contemplative, you know, meditative practices reveal that ironically, when you sit alone on a cushion and meditate, you come to realize that the self that's sitting on the cushion is not just the body sitting there, that the self is all the people around you, the self is all of humanity, the self is all of nature. And if we started acting in a way that realizes these larger ways of viewing the self, then whether you're running a factory or running a family or just running your own personal inner life, you can start behaving in a way that realizes the intra-connection of the whole and from a point of view of the part of the whole interconnection so that we can then run countries in a different way, run companies in a different way, run curricula in a different way. And we have about 10 years to do this. So if we don't do it, yeah. we're seeing with the fires and the hurricanes, the droughts, the floods, we're seeing, I mean, I just read the cover story of all the major newspapers that arrived at this house this morning, all three of them, you know, and it's like the most depressing thing you can imagine. So how do we move from states of depression to states of action and hope where we can actually say, this is what we think the problem is, and this is what we can do about it?